Oh, yes, it's fading into the night. So, so, that is gold over copper. But these are beautiful crystal glass here. And this one's $5. Love that. Colors are beautiful. Beautiful earth tone colors. Next one we have is also glass. You have your pretty fiery orange here and then the more yellow gold tone. This one's three dollars. Here is a little stretchy. It's in good shape. Really pretty. Silver tone. It's a little big on me. That's that river rock design and the beading that I like so much. This one's two dollars. Next we have this one with the curved silver bar. This is glass. And we have this one with a little bar and a little stone on it. And then this is Save the Ocean or For the Ocean where they recycle the materials in the ocean and make these bracelets. So those three are three dollars. And let's test. Ooh, that's not magnetic. But it is copper based, I believe. So there we go. Okay, the next brace, uh, bracelets we have, we have this one, and this is beautiful, and we have this one, they're all glass, blue glass, $3. We have these that are clay and acrylic. Not sure what these are, and some. Um, not sure. If, I think those are glass, and some more acrylic. These are very pretty. These are three dollars. The next group we have are pearls. They're different. This one has a beautiful blue glass and pearls, and the rondelles with the rhinestones. And you have the caged gray pearls. I'm not looking at these real hard, am I? And some uh, pearls with beads with a beautiful little toggle clasp. So these are three dollars for the three of those. Next is a beautiful wire glass beaded wrap bracelet. This is three dollars. This next one is um, gold tone beads here, and I think rose quartz. Let me test it real quick. Definitely rose quartz. This is five dollars. These are two cat's eye bracelets. One's in purple with silver tone. The other one are faceted yellow cat's eye and silver tone beads. These are both in excellent condition. It's $5. The next are some more glass beads. Very pretty with their own color schemes. Nice variety here. This one has a shepherd's hook clasp. Which 
shepherd hood. I call it shepherd hood's hook box class. Look and see if there's any marks. Look at that real quick. No. I don't see any. But I love these browns and teals together. You just slip it in here. Like that. And then you push it closed like a box clasp. These are got the uh, peacock colored beads on there and then these beautiful crystals. And that, and that's five dollars for the two of those. We have this bracelet here that is um, done in silver, copper and gold tone, mixed metal with leather. I'm looking for marks. Let's see. That's something on there. No. And let's see. It's nicely wrapped. We're going to do this one for three dollars. Silver tone bracelets here. We're going to do them as a group. First, you have this set here, which is very pretty. And they're not magnetic. This one here with the little rhinestones, little cuff. This one with the hound's tooth design beads, glass beads, and red pearls. Okay, that's magnetic. And this last one with the little charms. Very cute. These three here are three dollars. I mean, not three, there's more than three, but these bracelets here are three dollars. There's five. There's five of them. Hubby corrected me. There's five. I just clarified. Thank you, honey. Here's tortoise um, amber-looking beads. They're acrylic. Then we have this beaded bugle beaded bracelet. I believe this is brass. And then we have these pretty chocolate pearls and their glass beads bracelet. And the three of these. Those are uh, amber, are they? Those. No, honey. Okay. They, they feel like acrylic. Okay. They have a coolness to them. Okay. Amber has a real, has no coolness to it, and it has a real plasticky feel. Okay. I mean, I've guessed it. No. That was quick. <laughs> so the three of these bracelets is $3. Three bracelets are three dollars. Proper English. Next one we have is a cross with an angel wing and a little stone here. It's got the little stones here on the end of the pull. And you know you tighten it like that, pull it through or pull it out. This one has markings on the back. It's uh, SU China. So the maker's SU and the. It, SU is silver. Oh, SU is silver? Well, we'll see. Yeah, it is. I thought SU was something else. Where'd you read that? I don't know. You just know those things. I did. I don't know if it's right anymore. Well, that was the little angel thing, and it's not marked. I'm going to do the cross. I thought SU was a manufacturer, and it came from China. It would be, just like 925 is from China, but that doesn't, you know. Yeah, but 925 is a standard mark for silver. You either have 925 or sterling. Okay, let's see what it does. Yeah, this is copper-based. 
Which one? All of them. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I looked up at you one time. Okay. And it was the manufacturer at a certain time. Okay. All right. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, here was the angel wing, and it's not. Go in the garbage. Here is the cross. And it is not. And here is the bracelet. And it is not. Okay. Throw it away. Well, you've used it both ends of it. Okay. <laughs> can't re you can't burn that candle for Stop twice. it. This is a beautiful bracelet. It's got no wear on it. It looks silver, but it's not silver. And we're going to sell it for $5. That's a gorgeous little bracelet. I didn't test the stone. Maybe it's a diamond, honey. Is that Chinese diamond back mine? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's glass. Anyway, very pretty little bracelet. Okay, now that you got me all flustered. The job. next, that's his job. Yes, that's your job, honey. And I'm good at my job. Yes, you are. <laughs> now, what about these? Did you test them? This has got faith. I didn't test anything. And that's got a little cross and hope with the anchor. Heart and then love. And cute little uh, lobster claw class with the heart. We have this one. The only thing I test is your patience. Pretty much. Okay, here we go. Then we have this one with beautiful little beads here. I don't see any markings on the beads. But all the little rhinestones are there. This is a real pretty one. And then we have this one. It's got some wear on this part. I can see the gold coming through. It's got a lot of beads on it. Some are marked. Here's a little Christmas tree. Some more beads. Oh, look at the ladybug. Very pretty enameled ladybug. Some more beads there. And this one is Tumble. Tumbling hard, I guess. Ooh, pretty red bead. Oh, an owl. Aww. A granddaughter. Aww, and blue. Oh, well, I'll get over it. So I'm going to do these three for 15. Next is a little stretchy bracelet. It's in good shape, but these are curved up. The pictures are coming off. We'll put that in the Hobby Lot. This one's cool. It's got two shark's teeth on it with Kylie. Put that in the Hobby Lot. This one is acrylic beads. I'm going to put in the Hobby Lot. There's Smoky Quartz color. And here's another little acrylic bead bracelet going in the Hobby Lot. This one's got pretty little pink stones in it. But it's got a lot of wear on it. It's going in the Hobby Lot. This one right here is very cute. It's missing just one stone. I'm going to put it in the Hobby Lot. Bye. Okay, those are going in the Hobby Lot. Wah. Where did this one come from? I have some more silver ones. 
right here. One, two. This is a vintage one. I think it's Sarah Coventry. Yes. What well, has SAC on it with that diamond shape, and I know that's Sarah Coventry. This one's like a, um, I don't, oh, here's the lobster claw class. You could put charms on this or wear it as is. This one, it's got a little heart. It says something. Something city high. Oh, the lobster claw. Oh, these are for charms where you can add charms to it. Add the charm right there to the lobster claw. Here's one with praying hands. I have to test these chains in a second. And the last one we have. Silver tone, Rolo chain, nice, would make a nice little charm bracelet with a fold over clasp, that's vintage. That's Sarah Coventry. This one might be silver. I just have a feeling with this one, but we'll see. Good grief. I think my stone is worn out. Yeah, that might be silver. Oh, let's use the 18 karat. See if it glows. Or if it disappears. Oh no, it's glowing. Oh yes, that's silver. I can see it all over here, it's glowing. See that blue? It means it's silver. So this is a silver necklace with the praying hands. The rest are silver tone necklaces. I'm gonna sell them all here. You got a Sarah Coventry for $12. Next two I have, that's uh, awareness, but I don't know what the black means. Together we can make a difference. It's beautiful silver tone, the beautiful um, rope chain here in black and silver tone. This one's a definitely a charm bracelet. And it's going to be sterling. It's marked here on the bottom. This is a heavy sterling bracelet. It's got the double links. You've got three charms on here. I don't know if they're sterling or not. Yes, there's, that one's marked sterling. That one's marked sterling. And this one's unmarked. So, I'm going to sell both of these for 18 That's a beautiful charm bracelet. Sterling charm bracelet. Nice and heavy. The next one is Silver Tone and Gold Tone. This is Silver Tone and Gold Tone, but it's in a polished setting. It's got a fold-over clasp. Like that. Here's the other one. These are both in excellent condition and they're five dollars. Okay, the next one we have is this 
mesh chain like bangle gunmetal colors this is a square gunmetal bangle I don't see any marks on it this one is a beautiful beaded gunmetal colored one very, very well made very pretty and then we have one of these in the gunmetal color I don't know let's put them all on See what we have maybe not that one there we go we have four bracelets for five dollars very pretty different styles Ooh, sorry about that well, smack them I smacked the camera thing this one's got be brave in good condition just hooks on it's got a little off-centeredness to it oh this one's two-tone it's got the key key uh, Greek key design I don't see any markings it's a clamp style and then you have this pretty silver tone And these three are five dollars. Let's see if Be Brave is magnetic. Of course not. I think it's um I don't think it's silver. Don't you up your fingers here with that acid? I know, honey, I see it. No, it's copper based. Okay. Let me get this acid off. Still fluorescent blue. Yeah. Yeah, if you use the 18 karat, then you can save on uh, Q-tips. You don't need Q-tips. Well, I mean, you know, it's a thought. The, the fluid all taste, costs the same thing. Yeah, it tastes the same, yeah. Don't know. <laughs> Go heat me up some coffee, and I'll tell you what the prices were. I'll make myself useful. No. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're just thirsty, honey. I know. This is very cute. It's silver tone and blue. Fits real nice. Then we have a Michael Kors. That's what it says. Braided bracelet in the gold tone. Lobster claw class. And these two are five dollars. Next, we have this pretty little bracelet here in the pinks and mauve color. And then these have your peacock colored or your um, Aurora Borealis washed beads and black beads on it. Little a memory wire. These two are uh, $4. Here's a wrap bracelet. Love this wrap bracelet. I love gray. It's, a, it's a, like a taupe gray. It's got a little bit of brown in it. Love the designs on here with a chain. I'm trying to make sure all the stones are on here. Get it together. Sometimes you have to work with things very pretty and all the stones are there this looks brand new it doesn't look like it's been worn snaps in three different places a nice wrap bracelet this wrap bracelet is it might have got a little too hot for you uh, okay i still love you but it's coming apart i'm gonna put this one in the hobby lot that cross is pretty uh, we'll put this one with it then because it's got a gray theme and I love these rhinestones. This one's beautiful. 
And I believe this has got a crown because this would be a Juicy Couture. I don't know. Definitely has a crown signed on it. Very soft leather. It's that pewter colored leather. Love this. It's gorgeous. Let me snap it on just so you can have a look. That's a beauty. So these two bracelets, see here's the underside, look how nice that is. These two bracelets is $10. That's beautiful. Okay, five, mm -hmm. four, mm -hmm. ten. ten. Okay. Let's see, the next set of bracelets we have this one that says jingle. Jingle all the way. I added that. Here's a fold over class with angels and hearts. Sort of like a holiday. Valentine's Day, Christmas, and then we're going to do a summertime one with the Dolphins, Clamper, Gold Tone, in excellent condition. I'm looking for marks. Yes, I am. So these three bracelets are five dollars. bracelet is a ring and the bracelet and it is a size don't know what the symbol means on that it's a size 7 very cute design I don't know if I can get it on. Let's see. Probably not, but wrong way. This is the way it fits on me. It's got plenty of room here on the bracelet itself. That's the distance. I have a pretty long hand from here to here. Oh, mercy. It is somewhat magnetic and then not magnetic. This is $3. Next is a gunmetal color stretchy bangle. If you need any stretch, I don't to get it on with the little blue rhinestones. They're all there. This bracelet is $2. Pretty blue. It's in very good shape. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you got it hot. Thirty seconds. It was too cold. It wasn't warm enough. Thirty seconds. Okay. And then pour a little bit of coffee in it. <laughs> now that coffee walk over here. <laughs> oh hush. This is a, a pretty little tortoise shell like. It's not tortoise shell, but it's got the design of tortoise shell and the gold tone. It's a fold over clasp, so it's hard to tell where you clasp it, but it's right here. But I like that because it doesn't disrupt the design of the bracelet. And this bracelet is $3. And it is Mark J. Crew. Awesome. It's a good deal. Open it up and just... Open. Yeah. 
Oh, this patient has diabetes. See wallet card for information. Should I save that? I'm going to give this away to free to anybody who wants it with their order. So, you know, if you can use that. The next is adorable, adorable. You're going to love it. Look at these little bracelets. The little ceramic owls. And the little earrings to go with it. And I have another bracelet that I'm just putting with it as a group. And this set here is $6. Very, very cute. These little owls are adorable. And they took some work to make. And here's the little earrings. And then you have this bracelet here, too. That's a lobster claw clasp. These are acrylic beads. Okay. Oh. Now we get to the earrings and whatever else I find. Okay. Good, we're full in this box. So maybe we can squeeze earrings in. Okay, good. We have this little pendant here. I'm going to put in the Hobby Lot. Have these pretty little earrings. Made in Korea. They're in great shape. These are three dollars. Uh, so that's over there for the moment. Little charm stuff. We'll get to that in a minute. Oh, we had two of these. I thought, yeah, here's the other one. Here's two little bird and bloom pens. They're collector's pens. Here's the back. Let me fasten that. It's even got the birds in bloom in probably the year two. Not sure. Limited edition birds in bloom. No, 2009. And that one's got 2001, I think. So there we go. Those are beautiful. And these are five dollars. And I'm going to put this one with it too. This little cardinal. It's not part of that. But it's a bird. So put that in there with it. We have this little turtle brooch. Missing three little pearls and a little stone in the eye. I'm going to put that in the hobby lot. It's an excellent condition and it's a marked brooch. Art. Did you miss his, his pen? His stick pen? No. It's oh, just, I just didn't see it. Okay. You blended no, it this is really, a, if you fix this, you've got a nice piece here. Turtles are very popular too. It's just I have so much to fix I can't do anymore. Oh, mercy. Let's do. That one's complete. Is it not? No, it's missing one stone. This one's missing one stone. This is a vintage piece also. You see the curve chain. It's like a moon. Crescent moon. Hmm, I'm going to fix that one. I'll just put it aside. When I fix it, I'll show it again. Here's one. It's vintage. And let's see if we have any more vintage. We have this. There's the back. This is Taiwan. Oh, this is cute. I'll go check the middle while you're sorting. Yeah. 
Here's another vintage one with a little lizard. All the stones are there. Here's the back. Now he doesn't have a stone for an eye on this side. But I really don't think that's, well it could be missing. Still adorable. These are not vintage, I don't believe, but they're dolphins. Very pretty. We're going to do a pin lot here. It's just too hard to separate it all out. Look at this bird. I should have done a bird lot, too. We'll do a bird lot. So here's a bird lot. And this is an angel. This is very, very hard to do. I'll let y'all watch me separate a map. We're going to find out what we have in this box here. Okay, there's another pair. These are those earrings. These are charms. That's cufflink. Charm. Charm. A charm. A ring. We have some rings. Earrings. We have both of those. We have both of those. We have both of these. Charms, charms, ring. Ooh, that's got to be silver. Ring. Charm. Charm. Another blade. Vintage. Guys, I guess I could cut it off. Y'all don't need to watch this. Okay, we're gonna do this little pin lot, which has adorable enamel pins here. This one has rhinestones in addition, and then these are little uh, tack pins. Here's the back. Look at that. That's an excellent condition. This one also is in excellent condition. I don't see maker's mark on these. I believe this one did be vintage. And the two little tack pens. These are ten dollars. There you go, honey. Okay. And next we're gonna do this vintage set here. This looks vintage, whether it is or not. This one looks like silver, too. Better test it. Much. Besides, I'm having fun testing with the 18 carat now. Nope. 
Must be pewter. It's very pretty. It's a little tack pen. Little angel. So you have one, two, three, four, five pens. And these are going to be is this one? That's very vintage. Let's see if it's magnetic. Nope, better test it. We are testing this one for gold. But we're going to start with Tim Garrett first. And it disappeared. So this may be gold over brass or something like that. Let me clean my stone here. So these are five dollars for the set. Five. You got that, honey? Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to put this one, it's not vintage, but we're going to put that in there with those. Little tack pen. And the little tack pen Santa Claus. No, we're going to put him in the Hobby Lot. I think he's missing his part of his hat, so he's going in the Hobby Lot. But be sure you don't stick yourself. Let's see if I can find him. Here's the back I'm going to put on the Santa Claus so you don't stick yourself. Here we go. All right. We have a single cuff link. There's no marks. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot. We're going to do the dolphins by themselves. Very pretty for three dollars, and they've got LC on them, so they're Liz Claiborne. Three dollars, you said? Mm-hmm. Okay. Then we've got these hoops. You've got rose gold with the pink. You've got gold tone with silver, and then you have the silver with black. Oops, three pairs, five dollars. The next are these. They have the antique silver look to them. And these here are stones and hematite. These are three dollars. See, these are stone too. Let me see if they're jade. Yep. Here's jade and crystal. Let's see if we've got silver here too. Yeah, it's not magnetic. No, that's got a copper base. Let me try the earring post. That may be silver. The wires. Yep. So the wires on these are silver. And you've got jade. These are nine dollars. Wipe that off. Okay. The next earrings are these silver tone. Here's the backs. They are magnetic. These are a dollar. We 
have some star earrings. They're vintage. S T A R. Little button gold tone earrings in very good condition. That's not magnetic. Yeah, it is. These are three dollars. Nice button earrings. Have some little posts here. And we'll put them together because they have little pearls. You have this pair first with the little pearls around it. They're um they have a mark for China on the back. And then these are a little pearl with, with the lucite. Very pretty. There's the backs on there. They're different. If they're not clean, I'll be taking them off. But, um, I'm replacing them with uh, silicone backs. But we have these two pair for four dollars very cute I have two three vintage pairs here I first have these 